<laughs> oh, Lola, you're so funny. I can't believe she would actually do that. Wow. It's, it's a great post, Lola. Hey, Mom. Hello, Ava. I'm sorry, but I was a bit busy and I forgot to tell you something important that I think that you might want to know. But your cousin, Andrea, is coming over later today. She's staying with us for um, a few months, I think like almost a year, and it's because her house flooded and they need somewhere to stay. You've never met her before and I think she's your age. She'll also be transferring to your school while she's here. So I would like you to clean your room Although I see it's already quite clean. Well then, I would like you to welcome her when she arrives. And you now just tell me? She's arriving in a few hours and you give me this short of a notice? Whatever. Oh yes, Ava's upstairs in her room. <laughs> it's down the hallway and then it's the door to the left. Ava, could you go find a bed in the attic that Andrea can sleep on? Thanks, you two girls will get together great. Aunt Carrie and I are downstairs in the kitchen if you need anything, okay girls? Dinner will be ready in just a few short minutes. Hi, my name's Ava, nice to meet you. And your name is Andrea, and I hear that you're going to my school? Yeah, I'm Andrea. And I guess I'm going to school, or whatever. My mom knows the details. You can go talk to her if you want to know anything. Yeah, um, right. <laughs> okay, um, what you doing on that phone of yours? <laughs> Just texting my friends how I'm stuck in this, what, princess room with some little kid? Um, excuse me, but I'm not a little kid. I'm your same age, and this is no princess room. I just really like the color pink. Is there a problem with that? <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> Deep breaths. <sighs> well, I am going to go... Get your bed out of the attic. Would you like to join me? Fine. Okay, follow me. Well, there's a bed right there with a blanket. Perfect. You can go take that back down to my room. Yeah, sure. Huh? What's this? A diary? I wonder whose this could be. And then I said, I don't even know how I could be possibly related to her. She's such, well, a weirdo. Her room's weird, her beds are weird, and she's just, in general, a weird person. I don't really know, but <laughs> yeah. I know you feel bad for me. I also feel bad for myself. How am I even going to survive here? You know I heard that whole conversation. Yeah, well, I have to go. What do you want? Me? I don't want anything. But when I was in the attic, I stumbled across a diary. I mean... I'm sort of interested in reading a page or two. Um, hello, newsflash. Diaries are meant to be kept secret. You shouldn't just go nosing around and read somebody else's diaries without their permission. That's just wrong. I know, but it's been in the attic. It must mean it's old. So, therefore, it means it's probably not important anymore. Just don't read it, okay? I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble either. 
Now I'm going to bed. Perfect hiding spot. Shine, rise and shine. Wake up, you sleepy heads. Come on, girls, time for school. You gotta love school, the education. Ava. Andrea, wake up. Andrea, you need to make a good first impression on your first day of your new school. Uh, I am up. Ow. Don't worry, I'm fine. <sighs> I'm up, I'm up. I called dibs on the bathroom first. Oh man. Well, breakfast is on the table. We are going to go shopping, so see you girls after school. You excited for your new school today? No. Um, okay then, um. That's nice, I guess. Can you stop talking for once in your life? Can you actually start talking to me for once in your life and being social? I gotta go to school. I'm supposed to walk to you to school, but wait up. Welcome to your new school. Here's my locker. Oopsie poopsies. Oh, sorry, Ava. It's fine, Lola. That's quite an outfit you have on today. I know. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, that's Andrea. Hi. I'm going to the office now to get my schedule, so bye. Okay, so who is she exactly? Apparently she's my cousin, which I don't believe. She's totally the opposite of me. She's just like, yeah, like, whatever. And she doesn't even say anything. This must be the office. Hello, welcome. <laughs> um, how can I help you today? Um, I'm a new student. Andrea Thomas. Oh, yes. Um, I think I have um, your schedule in the back. I'll be right back. Okay, here's your schedule. There you go. Have a nice rest of your day. Whatever. Say, I've never seen you around this school before. Oh, uh, hi, I'm new here. Hmm, you don't say. My name's Lily. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name's Andrea. Andrea Thomas. You look a lot like Ava. Ava Miller? Do you know her? Ava Miller? <laughs> no idea. No idea. Hmm. You two look like you could be related. <laughs> no way. Well, anyways, I hope to see you sitting with me at lunch, if not in any of my classes, so bye! Bye. I still can't believe you're related to that girl. Wow. So, what do you know about Ava? Oh, Ava, she's really, really nice. <laughs> she's super duper friendly. She's an awesome person. Are you sure you're not related to her? I get a suspicious feeling. Fine, I'm related to her. Make you happy? Yep, I'm satisfied. I knew you two were related. We're only cousins, and besides, I'm only going to stay at this school for about a year. Just because my house got flooded. And I'm, we're waiting for it to get repaired. <sighs> What's wrong? Why don't you go talk to your cousin? You know, be friendly. That's the thing. Whenever I try to talk to her, she's just like, yeah, whatever. I've already told you this, Lola, and she's not going to change. 
At least I don't think she is. She's just always so boring. Yeah, I guess that's a good word to describe her. I know I'm not smart or anything, but, you know, I was thinking maybe you could just tell her how you feel. I bet she's just a little bit, like, nervous and stuff. After all, she's at a new school, a new location, moved away from her friends. She's probably going through a lot of tough things. Just give her a little bit of time and maybe try to explain how you're feeling and stuff. <sighs> I guess that can't hurt. Andrea, do you mind? I have something I want to talk to you about. What is it? Well... Ever since you got here, you've been just sort of, well, I don't know, I get that you're not really social, but you're acting a bit unfriendly, and what I'm trying to say is, whenever I try being friendly, whenever I try asking you a question, whenever I just try to do something nice and kind to you, you're just like, whatever, who cares, and you don't even talk to me. What did I do wrong? I'm sorry if I said anything that hurt you. No, Ava, it's... it's really not you. It's... I guess... I just... It's... it's not you. I'm sorry I've acted like that. I don't mean to. It's just... I just miss all my friends from the flood, and I'm just wasn't really looking forward to coming here and living in your room for a year. Going to a new school, meeting new people, and meeting you who I've never even met before or seen. I'm sorry. No. If anyone should be saying that they're sorry, it should be me. I'm sorry for my actions and I'm, I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. I know I'm not really social, but I'm sorry. You tried so hard to make me feel welcome, but I just sort of turned you down, and I apologize. <laughs> I forgive you. I hope that we can become friends and great cousins now. Yeah, me too. <sighs> well, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, good night, cousin.